Hi, I'm Michael Lyons, head coach of Tri, uh, Tri Edge. We are the official training partner for TriFactor. Uh, a little bit about myself, I've been riding a bike for 50 years, including much of that time either racing in cycle races or in triathlon. So we've got some uh, tips and tricks for you today and a course overview uh, of how to make your day safe and enjoyable and hopefully competitive. So first of all, the course overview. Hats off to TriFactor for coming up with a great course with the limited land space that we have in Singapore. So we've got a course that's both challenging and interesting. So uh, with starting, uh, starting from Republic Ave, we're swinging left corner onto Nickel Highway, U-turn down the bottom near Middle Road, long straight to stretch your legs out, almost all the way up to Nickel Highway, and then U-turning back, and then dropping back into Republic Ave. And then we've got a very interesting uh, part of the loop where we're going down an overbridge, then up, a, up the other side, U-turn back, down and up again, all the way back around to Republic Ave where we U-turn and back to the start finish. That's the end of the first loop. So, uh, so that's one loop of 7K. Now, interesting thing about this is there's eight corners. So in regards to what sort of gear you should have on for the day, I'd recommend either race wheels like uh, over here on, the, on my bike where, they're, where they will accelerate really quickly or nothing less than 40, sorry, nothing more than 40 mil wheels. Uh, just because there's a lot of corners and a lot of accelerating to do uh, um, out of the corners in order to keep up. So taking a look at the start, the start line is just back here. We're, we're near the race site now, near the, uh, near the Nickel Highway MRT. About 400 metres down the road is where the, the start line will be. So we're coming into a first left-hand corner followed by another left-hand corner on the Nickel Highway. Now, for the purposes of the race and for safety, because this is a narrower part of the course, there's only one lane through here, this whole area, both going out and coming back, is a neutral zone. In other words, no overtaking. We just want you to be safe through that corner. You can race your heart out through the rest of it, but we just want you to start the race safely and come through these two very uh, small parts of the race in a, in a safe state. So. That's, that's the first thing, uh, it'll be a neutral first corner, no overtaking, and coming back in to, the, uh, Croft, uh, to this junction will also be um, a neutral zone. Okay, so now we're gonna do a, a live demo of the first corner, just to show you uh, what sort of line to take, where to brake, and where to accelerate. Uh, so we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and do that. Okay, one really interesting part of the course where, where I think the race eventually is going to break up, maybe it breaks up early, when I say break up I mean people are going to separate, uh, is this bit around the Crawford Road Junction. So it's a, it's a downslope, upslope, U-turn, downslope, upslope. So a closer look at this, this is how it's going to look approaching the corner. I really like the way, like how uh, TriFactor have spaced the cones nice and wide. These are theoretically where the cones are going to go. This will have you coming into the corner nice and wide, which is good. That's a safe way to approach a corner. Now there's going to be a lot of gear changing in this corner in order to do it right and save your legs and stay with the pack. So let's talk you through that. So here we have an upslope coming from the underpass. Now remember that before this upslope you've already gone down. So as you're going down the hill, change down one, two, possibly three gears. By down, I mean, uh, what I mean by that is harder. So you are, uh, you are maximizing the momentum as you go down the hill. And then as you come up the upslope, changing up one, two, or three gears. And finally, just before the corner, because your speed is gonna be really low coming around the corner, maybe changing up another one or two gears. And then you're going down the slope again. One, two, three gears down, and then the other, uh, the other side, 
maybe one, two, three gears up. Okay, a lot of gear shifting, quite technical. The better riders will have a good time of this and they'll save their legs. If you do this wrong, if you if you're not if you haven't practiced it and you've done it wrong, you will uh, you'll certainly use a lot more energy than, than you need to. Now just a, a reminder that on the 3rd of May we're doing a bike handling skills uh, uh, course uh, at the East Coast Parkway. You'll find out more details on the Trifactor website. So we're going to be teaching the tricks and tips that will be appropriate for this race. So we hope to see you there. We've got one class nearly fully booked. So we're, we're uh, considering running a second class as well. So check out the Trifactor website for that. Okay, so let's, uh, let's take a break now from talking and let's do a demo of Crawford Street of what to expect. So check out my gear changing and check out the line that I take into the corner. And as I uh, approach the corner, another gear shift and then changing down as I move the other side of, of, uh, Cor of, Corford, of the Crawford Road uh, Junction. Okay, so now that we've taken a look at the at the video of going through the corners. Let's talk about one thing we didn't cover and that was the U-turn. So at the top of the course and the bottom of the course there, there will be U-turns. So this particular one is Ofer Road. The, the U-turns typically are nice and wide and before you enter the, the corner change up two gears. So that means easier one, two gears. It will allow you to accelerate through the corner and then change back down to your race speed. So going through the corners, it's always a good policy to have your pedals in a neutral position. So if I was turning left, for example, on the bike, I don't really want the pedal to be close to the ground just in case I go over so far that it comes in contact with the ground. So we really want it to be neutral. Unless we're taking the corner in such a way that we're nice and wide and there's actually ease of access to carry on pedal as you're turning. turning. And you would have noticed if you look at the videos, I was actually pedaling through quite a few of the corners because I took them on the right line and there's plenty of room to do that. There's plenty of clearance under the bike. So good policy, otherwise, if you're coasting through the corner, is to have the, the pedals neutral. So I also want to talk about what to do before the race. So make sure that your helmet is safe. So this helmet is nice and snug on my head and I can get two fingers only underneath the strap. So this is correctly positioned and it's nicely tucked under my ears on either side. This is, this is a correct fitting of a helmet. It's snug and comfortable. It's going to do the job if I happen to have a mishap. Alright, the other thing is to get your bike checked before the race. So we, we, want, uh, we, we want it shifting gears properly and braking properly and we want the headset checked by, the, by your local bike shop. Uh, the, the other aspect will be your nutrition on the day. So for the 56k race, I'm recommending two 750ml bottles. For the shorter races, one. And I'd have your carb source in the bottle rather than carrying gels. So you're drinking your calories as well. It's one less thing to do rather than having to fiddle around with gels. Keep it simple. And make sure that you're, that you're taking a drink when you're on the back of the bunch or by yourself. So it's a lot safer you are in a lot more control of what's going around you. So, Otherwise, if you have to drink while you're in the bunch, always have one finger near the brakes. So, just on that subject, in race mode, this is the position that we'd be in on the handlebars if we're racing and getting nice and aero. If we're cruising, and you notice that I'm all, I always have easy access to the gears to shift and to the brakes to brake. Okay? If we're in somewhat more of a comfortable position, then I always have very good access to the brakes as well. These sort of tips and tricks, plus the cornering techniques and the gear selection, emergency braking, bunny hopping over foreign objects like drink bottles and so on, we'll be covering on the 3rd of May at the, at the Bike Handling Skills course. Check out the website, uh, Trifactor website, for details. So um, that's, that's all for today. Uh, we wish you all the best. 
It's a great course. I think it's got something for everyone. It's challenging and safe. We wish you all the best. Have a great race and, and, uh, and a safe race as well. Thanks very much. Michael Lyons signing off. See you on race.